holiness does not mean I am better than you. Holiness does not mean you are better than me. Holiness actually means I am different from you. Because holiness is the word separate, which means instead of being common, I am separate, I'm different. I'm not common. If I have stones in my hands and then there is a diamond amongst those stones, the diamond will stand out. That is called separate. That is what is holy because it is separate, not because it is better in the sense of where it stood. And that was the picture of Christ in the midst of sinners. He could be seen as the separate one, the unique one, not because he took himself to stay with sinners to prove a point, so that you should not be too religious that you are judging people before you even get to know them. Hi, thank you for tuning in today. I am Owe Akpa and this is my YouTube channel. It is such a pleasure to have you watch today's video. A thought came to me which I want to share about in today's video. Most people are so afraid of being tagged religious or being called religious. I hope that you being afraid of being tagged religious will not make you become worldly because it is just a thin line. Oh, I don't want to be religious. I don't want to be tagged religious. I'm not a religious person. And before you know, you are becoming worldly and ungodly because you are trying to fit in and trying to do things the way the world is doing because you're not a religious person. You don't want to be called religious. And you're like, this is another century. We don't have to behave like the olden days. The Bible does not change in its standard with the generations that we have. This is why I'm making this video so that you, you consider yourself and your actions and your ways and the things you do, whether you've deviated from the way with the right mindset, you don't want to be religious. Really, people want the real thing. People want the real deal. People want to be transparent, to be honest, to be authentic, to be real. Myself, I don't like religious people because they are pretentious and somehow they seem to be the most vicious kind of people if care is not taken. That is why I don't like religious people. But the truth is that I had to ask myself this question also. I hope that your fear of not being taxed religious does not make you become worldly because you are in the trap of trying to fit in. Now, Jesus walked on earth and he is our example, the one we are supposed to follow. He walked on earth and he did not relate with the religious leaders. They were against him. They were like, he's not even forming click with them. They would see him sit with sinners, dine with sinners, eat with sinners, and they are like, oh, this man is a sinner. Jesus was tagged a friend of sinners. But did that mean that Jesus was committing sins or that he was looking for weird sinners' way to try to fit in with them? No, he wasn't even looking for weird sinners' way to try to fit in with him, but sinners were looking for him. Sinners were finding him where he was to come sit with him. And he was not kind of like, oh, you guys are sinners, get away from me. So the idea of being a child of God or being holy is not the idea of saying, I'm better than all of you, get away from me. It doesn't mean remove yourself from people, don't talk to people again, do the holier than thou. Now that is what is religious. It doesn't mean do not relate with people again, because they are not believing what you believe. That is what is religious. Jesus stayed with people who did not agree with everything he believed, but then that did not change who he was, or neither did it even move a fabric of his personality. Who Jesus was amongst those people was made so obvious because of where he was. They could see that this man is different. This man's way of life, his way of speech, the way he talks, the way he deals, he treats people, it's so different. And now, sinners were able to come to him. Matthew, the tax collector, could come to him. Now, you as a Christian, you're not to do the religious thing of like trying to make sure that you try to talk all religious talk everywhere, but just be yourself, be authentic. If you say you love God, love God authentically. Let people know that you, are, you really love God. Your love for God is not based on loving a church. 
like loving going to church, but you really love God based on the Bible that you want to treat people right. You want to do the right thing. Like your lifestyle agrees with the life of God, the life God wants you to live. Now, that is where I come to this point that holiness does not mean I am better than you. Holiness does not mean you are better than me. Holiness actually means I am different from you because holiness is the word separate, which means instead of being common, I am separate. I'm different. I'm not common. If I have stones in my hands and then there is a diamond amongst those stones, the diamond will stand out. That is called separate. That is what is holy because it is separate, not because it is better in the sense of where it stood. And that was the picture of Christ in the midst of sinners. He could be seen as the separate one, the unique one, not because he took himself to stay with sinners to prove a point, so that you should not be too religious that you are judging people before you even get to know them. And this is to tell you that once the real authentic life, that wants things to be real, and you have to know the fact that I don't want to be tax religious doesn't mean I should start becoming worldly, doing like the world, try to fit in, go to clubs, revel, and then I'm saying because I'm not religious, I don't want to be a religious Christian. Really? Are you disobeying God or becoming worldly intentionally or are you just using I don't want to be religious as an excuse? Because that is why I'm making today's video just to make you ask yourself again, I hope that I am not becoming worldly because I am trying not to be called religious. Think about that. Now, scripture actually said, be holy as your father in heaven is holy. Holiness is not religious, but is actually becoming like God. Holiness is the life of God should be the life you live, which is when the Bible says God is holy, it means God is separate amongst other gods, which is the song we sing, who is like unto thee, O Lord, amongst all the other gods, who is like thee, glorious in holiness, which is that separate is glorious. No other God is glorious. Glorious in holiness, fearful in praise. No other God is fearful in praise. No other God can do the wondrous things that God can do. So he is separate. No other God can create and make life. He is separate. Holy, it means separate. So God is separate from every other God. And so should we be that we are not looking like the world. That we are not looking like what God saved us from. Because we are running away from being religious and judgmental. You should not even be judgmental. You should just know that being holy is becoming like God. Becoming uncommon instead of being common. That when they see every man cheating on their wives and you that calls yourself a child of God, you're also cheating on your wife. No, that is so common. You should be uncommon. When they see people who cheat people in life, in business, you are also found to be a part. No, you should not be a part to that because you are holy. You are separate. When they see people who lie, you should not be a party to that because you are holy. That is what holy is. When they see people who commit sexual immorality openly and they are so proud of it, boasting about how many girls, body counts and this and that, or how many guys they've been able to slay, you're like, I'm separate. I'm different. I'm not judging you. It's your life, right? But I am different. I have a discipline. I have a different mindset and belief. I, I believe if you live this way, you actually be able to live and glorify God because that is the aim. The aim is that your life should give God glory. The aim is that your life should be fruitful to God and to people around you. So scripture says in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, So come out from among unbelievers and separate, sever yourselves from them, says the Lord, and touch not any unclean thing. Then I will receive you kindly and treat you with 
favor. Second Corinthians chapter six verse seventeen. That's in the amplified version. So do not try to fit in. Do not try to resemble the world. Try to stand out. Thank you so much for watching this video to the end. And if this video is beneficial and has spoken to you in any way, let me know in the comment what you think about it. And then hit the subscribe button if you've not yet hit the subscribe button. And also hit the like button. <laughs> Do not forget to share this video to your friend and to other believers whom you know they need this reminder in their life. Thank you so much for watching. I am Uwem Akpan once again. Thank you and God bless. Bye-bye.